Right. This video I want to talk a little bit about something called typography. Typography is the, is the study of uh, typefaces, of letters and words and things like that, and how to make them more or less readable. Okay. I'm going to talk about um, using things like line height, um, uh, line length, uh, different types of font faces, and font size to control readability. So the first issue I want to talk about is font size and line height and how they relate to one another. So right here I have a, a page that I've been working on um, and I've got uh, a bunch of text, a bunch of paragraphs in here and right now I'm using what's called a serif type font. A serif type font is a font that has, well, it's got a little serif to it. I'm gonna to go to another web page really quickly <clears throat> You've seen this page before in an earlier episode, and I want to just explain um, the idea of serif versus sans serif. A serif is the this little foot over here on the right where it says serif, red serifs. These little things are called serifs. They're little flourishes or little feet to make the, the font a little more decorative. Sans serif does not have them. Okay, types of fonts where you'll see serifs are going to be things like Palatino, Times, uh, Georgia. Um, sans serif is going to be stuff like Arial, Verdana, um, and uh, Futura, stuff like that. Okay. Now, common design scheme for for the web is using sans serif for body copy. Now, the reason we use sans serif for body copy is on the web as things scale up and down they become more or less readable. As you scale down sans serif becomes more and more difficult to read. The serifs tend to mush things up and make them hard to read. Um, sans serif fonts don't have that that same problem. I'm going to change this really quickly from serif to sans serif. I'm going to change it to Verdana using the font face property, or sorry, not face, family. Font family, Verdana. The reason I make that mistake every now and then with font face is the old way to do this when you're changing fonts with just HTML, it was the face um, uh, attribute that you would use instead of the family property. So you might see me make that mistake from time to time. Old habits die hard. So this is a sans serif font. As we scale down, it still remains relatively easy to read. Okay? So that's typeface. Usually you want to use sans serif stuff for body copy within um, your web page. Now, body copy is all this stuff, okay? The paragraphs and things that you read. For display, things like uh, this right here, this H1, that would be display. Another type of display would be subheads and things like that. Sometimes um, serif fonts are appropriate for display. Let's try for um, the H1 over there. Set that to Palatino. I think that's how you spell it, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. There, yes it is, Palatino. Palatino is a, is a serif face. It's got some nicer looking flourishes, I think, than um, Times New Roman does. It's just an overall nice looking, nice looking font. But as you scale it down, it becomes harder and harder to read. The serifs tend to mess, mush things up and get difficult to read. Okay. Now, line height. Line height is the space in between one line of text and another. We can control line height using CSS, using the line height property. So where are we here? Here we go, column 2P. I'm going to control line height here. Now, if we make that space too big, it's going to make things very difficult to read. 
because these lines don't make a visual connection to one another. In other words, when I get to here, my eye doesn't logically want to go down to the next line. Okay? This space is way too big. If we make it too small, it becomes hard to read because the text clumps up and we have to kind of squint to read it. A general rule of thumb is you want to have one letter height of space in between one line and another. Oops. Let me add a little bit here. That's still a little bit too much. Let's go to 1.3 1 1 here. That's getting close. This is approximately one letter height in between one line and the next. I probably would even go up to 1.4 on this just, for, just to be safe. I like to add a little bit of extra white space in there. That feels comfortable and natural to me. My eye has no problem getting from the end of this line to the beginning of the next line. Okay? So that's line height and font size and different types of fonts that you can use. So to sum that up, generally speaking for body copy, you want to use sans serif fonts. Okay? Not always, but a lot of times when designing for the web, that's a good thing to do. Um, line height, we usually want to have about a character space in between one line and the next. If they get too close, they become crunched up and you have to squint. If they get too far apart, they stop being a, a consistent flow for the text. Okay? Serif fonts are usually good for display purposes. So for um, the headlines in a web page. All right? And uh, we'll leave it at there. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about line length. I'm going to talk about some other issues.